Professor, what is your theory about the dark energy? We have absolutely no idea what dark energy is. It's kind of embarrassing that 70% of the universe is made up of dark energy and we really don't know what it is, but the whole evolution of the universe from now until into the future is driven by this thing we call dark energy. It appears like anti-gravity. It goes against normal gravity and it's driving the universe to, to expand faster and faster but we really don't have any idea what it is. We have many ideas, actually, but we don't have a single idea which we all agree upon. It's how much we know about the universe and what is necessary to understand it better? How much do we know about the universe? Well, the universe is everything, of course, and we know a few very interesting details about the universe. For instance, our universe is almost 14,000 million years old, and that's interesting. The universe had a beginning, and it has an age, and... It hasn't been around forever. That's a very curious fact that we live in a universe that has an age to it. We live in a universe which is filled with things, dark energy, material that we can't see with telescopes. When we look out at this universe with our telescopes and we see all the stars and the galaxies and the planets, if you add all of the th stuff that we can see in the universe together, that's only half a percent of what really is out there. More than 99% of the universe is there, but we can't see it. We can only see it indirectly. So why do we live in a universe where everything is missing and what we do see is a very small part of the universe? That's, it's a mystery that we have, we're not able to explain at this point. Why? Why can't we explain it? Because this material, this, this dark universe, doesn't interact with light. So I, mean, I can see you, I can see the camera because there's light in this room. But all of this dark material, when, when light hits it, it passes right through it. Light is not affected by all of this dark energy, dark matter, and so forth. So we can, we can see it indirectly through gravity, but we can't see it with light and telescopes. So why is 99% of the universe dark? And something we really, really want to understand, but we only have vague ideas of, about what it means. Uh, professor, are you satisfied with your interaction with the students of this institute? Oh, absolutely. It's fantastic being here. I really like talking with the people. There's, a, there's an energy to this, this place, this institute of, of physicists, you know, being excited about the research that they're doing. And I, I really think that, that there is a, a future. I, I, li I lived in Chile for many, many years, and so I've lived in Latin America. And there's a, a huge creativity that's coming out of Latin America and Brazil in, in, in theoretical physics and in, in cosmology. For instance, the, the state of São Paulo is part of the giant Magellan Telescope, and that's going to be one of the world's largest telescopes in a few years. So Brazilian astronomers will suddenly be at the forefront of being able to use the biggest in instruments in the world to look the deepest into the universe. So being at an institute like this with young physicists who are also interested in astrophysics and they're also interested in building up an astrophysics program is, for me, is extremely exciting. Okay. And what we can expect from your talk tonight? Well, one of the problems in, in science is that when, when you teach science, you teach the things that we know. But what really, what, the reason why we are scientists is that we want to figure out things that we don't know. So what is it we don't know about the universe? So I will tell you some of the, the, the most interesting discoveries that we've made in the universe, about the universe, but I also want to talk about the things that we don't know. For instance, like why does time go in a certain direction? Why is there a future and why is there a past? We don't know. Is there life elsewhere in the universe? Are we alone or not? Are we being visited by aliens or not? I want to talk about those sorts of things, the things that, we, that capture our imagination that we don't quite know the answers to, but maybe in the next decade or a couple of decades we will finally understand them. So I want to talk about what is known, but I want to stress what is not known about the universe because there's so many interesting things that, we, that are, could be just on the horizon of our discovery, and I want to talk about that. Thank you. Okay, thank you.